So let's continue talking about um, matter. And so remember again that the law of the conservation of matter is that matter is, matter is neither created nor destroyed. So let's kind of discuss some of the changes that can occur in matter. So the changes can be classified either as physical changes or as chemical changes. So very simply, a physical change in matter is when a substance changes its physical appearance but not its composition. And all changes of state are physical changes. So remember changes of state, I'm talking about whether something is a gas, a solid, or a liquid. So an example of a physical change would be the evaporation of water, where you have water going from being a liquid to being a gas, right? So the state has changed, the way that it looks more or less has changed, but it's still composed of water molecules. Then on the other hand, you can have a chemical change, which is in essence a chemical reaction. So that's when your substance is transformed into a chemically different substance. And a good example of that is plants using carbon dioxide and water to form the sugar glucose. And that is changes in matter.